For those of you new to this channel, I'll explain how puzzles are solved here. No candidates are written or pencil marks are used. In fact, I use a pen to solve these puzzles. And solving puzzles this way is more challenging. It makes you look at puzzles differently. This gives you different techniques and patterns you may not have used before. You can learn about these patterns and techniques at sudokuprimer.com. This is a Sudoku Duo puzzle, number 90 from volume 144. I was stuck on this puzzle for a while until I found two techniques together to get it going again. I'll let you know when I get to that point so you can pause the video and see if you can find the next number if you'd like to. If you'd like to challenge yourself. And even after that, once I find some, a number, there are two more hard spots in this puzzle where I had to really look hard to find the next number. I'll point those out too. All right, well, to get started, as always, I will put in some easy numbers, 777. Uh, this is a one. There's a gate pattern right here. Now one going through it. There's a one there, so we have ghost ones there. So one, ghost ones, one, one. So that's a one right there. Then we got an eight, eight. Eight, eight, so that's an eight right there. All right, now we got nine, 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 that's a nine, 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 nine. Okay, we've put in some easy numbers, and at this point, it gets kind of tricky. Nothing obvious right off. Uh, so if you'd like to pause right now and see if you can find an, another number and then see if it's the same number that I that I find. But I'll continue on now. There's a 2, 5, and a 9 in this row. So we have 2, 5, 9. Now if we could find one more number there's no more numbers outside of this box in this row, but if we could find one more number that's constrained to these two rows, we'd have quadruplets. And in fact, there is another number. There's a six. There's a gate pattern here with a six going through it, and a six there, so we have ghost sixes there. So one of these is a six. So we have two, five, six, nine, quadruplets there. <clears throat> so that means these are one and three, one, three twins. Okay, we still haven't found a number yet. We found some quadruplets and some twins. And now if we um, use uh, this here, these ones here, we got a one here, ghost ones here, and ones there, so that is a one. So we didn't find that until we found these uh, quadruplets and these twins. Okay, so that's the next number I found. All right, now uh, the puzzle gets a little tricky again. Not quite as tricky, but uh, I found next that there's a two here going through this gate. Another gate pattern, two, two. So we have twos here. And we've got a three here and a and ghost threes here going through the gate, the same gate. So the three is constrained to here. So we have two, 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 and three, three, three. We have two, three twins right here, which only leaves five and six left in this box here. And there's a five there, so we can fill in the five and the six. All right, and now with this five here, we've got a two and a five there and a two and a five there. So we have two five twins here. 
Okay, this is the third area of the puzzle where we got a little bit stuck. We have two five twins here, so therefore we've got a seven here. Ghost sevens here, because we've got a seven here already. So seven ghost sevens, seven. So that is a seven. And there's another another spot here that gets a little tricky. Remember our two five twins right here. And we have one three twins here. Let's look at this cell right here and see what numbers can fit there. One, two, ghost threes, four, five, ghost sixes, seven, eight, nine. So this right here is either a 2 or a 5, because we have six. the 6 is constrained to one of these two cells. The 3 is constrained to one of these two cells. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And with that 2, 5, we have two 5 twins here. We know that um, these are two 5 twins also. All right. Now let's look at this um, box eight here one more time. We have one three twins here. We know that's a two or a five. We have two five twins here. We know that can't be, neither of these could be a two or a five. So this has to be a two or a five. So we have two five twins here. So we have one three twins here, two five twins here. That leaves six and nine, which we can solve because of that six. So that one was a bit tricky too, but got that one figured out. All right, now let's see, we've got a nine, nine here, nine here, so we can put in a nine right there. All right, and now we have a six, Ghost six is there. We have ghost sixes here too. So we have a six here and a six here. So one of these is a six. Ghost six is six and a six there. So that is six. And with, with this filling that six in, we can fill in quite a few more here. There's a six there. Six. There's a six right there. Makes that a six. And that's a six right there. I think that's all our sixes there. Yep. Okay. And now we've got. Um, Three and four left here, we can fill in in column nine. And with that four there, four, four, got a four here. So that's gonna be a four. That makes that a three right there. Four, four, four. So let's see, we got a four, four, Four there, four, four, four there, four there. I think that's all the fours. Yep, all the fours done. All right, and with that, with these filled in, we got a seven there. Okay, so we have still have our one three twins, our two five twins, two five twins there, two three there. Can't do anything with those right now. Uh, here we have a five and a seven left. With that seven, we can fill those in. And that leaves a two and three in row one. 
Well, we got ghost threes here with that three, so that's got to be a two. So you can finish row one. All right. Now, what are we missing here? We're missing two, three, eight. Two, three, eight. Two, three. Okay, this has got to be on three or eight here. There's an eight there, so we can fill those in. That leaves a two there. Finishes box four. All right, with this two, we can finish box six. And we can complete row four here. And now we've got a see, three right here missing. And now we've got two five here. So we have two and five there, two five here, two five here. One three there, we can fill that in. All right, and now we've got uh, one and f let's see, one and five missing there. Um, now that could be a five. Uh, let's let's look right here. We've got three and seven missing there. Um, <clears throat> we can finish those. These are five and eight. Let's look at row two here. Two, three, four, five, seven, eight. Five, seven, and eight are missing. There's seven and eight, so there's a five there. Seven, eight. That helps us complete box one. Now we're missing two, one, two, and eight here. One and eight there, so that's a two, one, eight for box two. Now we can do our two fives here. So all we have left is two, five, two, five, two, five. So two, five, two, five, and two, five. And we got it. All right. Well, that, this puzzle was actually quite tricky in a couple of spots, especially at the, at the, the, toward the very beginning, we filled in a few easy numbers and then we got stuck pretty hard. And then we found these quadruplets right here, these two, five, six, nine quadruplets, and one, three twins. That gave us this one, which helped us find the five and six. And we had two, five twins here, which helped us find that seven. And then after that, things got uh, easier. Well, thank you for watching. I hope uh, I hope if you uh, pause the video, you're able to find that uh, that first number. That was probably the trickiest. Well, I'll see you again on the next video.